and in today's video I'm going to share a few simple recipes of snacks that you can keep in your home for your littles using staples in your kitchen and I promise you it does not take a lot of prep time and here I am a little bit distracted because of course I have little hands all over the place trying to reach over for shredded cheese which is one of the ingredients that we use in our delicious cheese crackers here I used eight ounces of shredded cheese four tablespoons of sliced softened butter, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of flour, all-purpose unbleached flour is what I use, and it calls for two to eight tablespoons of cold water, where if you see that I am taking tablespoons out of a bowl with ice, it's because you want the water to be very cold. And I gave it a good mix, make sure that I got all the cheese and the flour combined. It has a weird flaky texture but I promise you it's going to taste delicious after it's all said and done. I then am going to take out my mixture, throw it on my counter, put it into a very messy ball. Um, you can wrap it in saran wrap. I put it in tin foil because I didn't have any more saran wrap and I put it in the refrigerator for one hour to chill. Um, which makes it a lot easier to roll out and then cut into these slices. And because I am using my mixer for multiple projects this morning, I had to wash it in between because it truly really is life using that mixer. And then I'm just making a simple chocolate chip cookie um, recipe here, which just calls for all-purpose flour. I've shared this recipe before because it's super simple and I only use brown sugar. I don't use vanilla extract, so it's very low in ingredients, which is my favorite part of making my family snacks. I am not a crunchy mom. I wouldn't consider myself a crunchy mom. I would say I'm more of a crunchy-ish mom because I do allow my children to have some store-bought snacks once in a while when we're in family's house or just doing all the things, but I truly love that I have the ability to make homemade snacks from home because you know what's going into your ingredients. And I slowly learned that there are so many benefits from truly making your own foods at home, um, especially for myself, being that I do have um, a lot of gut issues. I've been learning what works for my body and what does not work for my body. It is a, it's been a slow process because you have to break all the bad habits of all the delicious fast foods that have great taste but are truly bad for you. So although this takes a little bit longer time than just running to your supermarket and grabbing a pack of cookies off the shelf I promise you it's so much more rewarding and it just so much better so here I did not bake the cookies I made sure to mix it all up I put it in a good bowl and I covered it with one of my tea towels and I placed it in the refrigerator because these cookies were going to be made the day after um, we were having a play date and I wanted to have the cookies for our play date I also made my Famous, okay, they're not famous, but to my family, they're pretty famous. Famous granola bars. Um, I have been making these for about a year. I played with the recipe back and forth. I've also shared that in one of my other videos. I have a few videos linked um, in my Instagram with this recipe because I have changed it a few times just to add a little more sweetness. I've used date syrup, sugar, honey. Here I'm going to use a little bit of honey, which I did not measure because that's how long I've been making it for. Um, I also did add a half a cup of brown sugar. I use gluten um, free flour because I am I have celiac and for me I love these granola bars so I wanted to make it more where I'm able to enjoy it as well and they truly come out so delicious it is easy prep work you throw it, everything into your mixer even if you're not using a mixer and you're just you, mixing it with your hand throw it into a large bowl all the ingredients it is granola which are gluten-free um, I used gluten-free flour, honey, brown sugar, egg, butter, and I usually use coconut oil, but I ran out of that as well, so I use a tablespoon of olive oil, and I use small mini chocolate chips, dark chocolate, um, and it truly makes the big difference of how much sweetener you use. In one of my first videos, I did add vanilla extract um, until I decided to try to make more desserts without vanilla extract just to see if it was necessary to have them in our desserts um, and honestly the kids don't even know the difference so once it's 
gotten a good mix. I laid it out on a sheet pan over parchment paper um, because it does go in the oven. First, you set it in the refrigerator uh, for about 20 minutes to cool, let everything combine together, and then I placed it in the oven for 15 minutes at 350. And you do a rotation of your granola bars. Now, as they were sitting in the refrigerator, I decided to move on to the next snack, which I've been messing around, playing around with some recipes and try to come up with my own recipe on how to make Reese's peanut butter cups. So again, this is just to make snacks that my children can have at home and I'm comfortable serving them that they don't have all these fillers, all these added ingredients. So here I took the same chocolate chips that I used for my granola bars and my chocolate chip cookies. I melted them in a jar over the stove on hot, over hot water. I then placed melted chocolate in a baking pan. I put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes to get hardened. I mix smooth, all natural peanut butter in my mixer with a quarter cup of powdered sugar, which is so delicious. Um, I also added a teaspoon of olive oil into my chocolate as I was melting it just to give it a different, a little bit better, softer texture and added a little healthier fat in there. Um, and then once that was hardened, I took the peanut butter, the soft and mixed peanut butter with the white powdered sugar and I placed it right over the hardened chocolate. Put it back in the refrigerator, took it out of the refrigerator after another 15 minutes and then added the second layer, the top layer of melted chocolate over there, over it and then placed it back in the refrigerator for one hour just so it would have a nice hard shell which was amazing. And all of these snacks that I was working on only took me about an hour and a half to prep and get them all done and like I said the cookies were not baked time to turn this ugly cheese ball into the most delicious cheese crackers I rolled out the cheese ball with my son's mini roller because I had no idea what happened to mine and then I cut them into small rectangular pieces placed on a sheet pan in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. While they were turning nice and golden brown, I took out my peanut butter chocolate cups at a refrigerator. They sat in there for almost an hour and they turned out to be delicious. My children loved this chocolate treat and look at these golden brown crackers. 15 minutes in the oven, 10 minute prep time and they are so worth it and you can make these delicious snacks at home for your little ones using the most minimal ingredients and knowing what your children are eating is the most rewarding